Before a king can rule over his subjects, he must be able to govern himself. Early in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the Judean wilderness to be tested and tempted. Here, we find the strategies of Satan to defeat the king. After 40 days in the wilderness without food, the Gospels record a fascinating one-on-one -on -one encounter between Jesus and the fallen angel, Satan. Here is the Gospel of Matthew's description of what happened. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. Read Matthew 4, 1 through 11 for yourself. What can we learn about Satan's schemes from this passage of scripture? How did Jesus deal with tests and temptations? Well, he always started his response with three words. It is written. You see, Jesus always went to the scriptures for his response. Since we all face tests and temptations in life, we all need a basic understanding of the scriptures, God's word. This is a great reason for us to do these Bible studies together. Right after the testing of Jesus in the wilderness, Matthew tells us that Jesus began his preaching, his first words, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Matthew 4, 17. As we've learned, one of the key concepts in the book of Matthew is the kingdom of heaven. What does that really mean? Well, in one sense, it refers to the physical rule of God on earth. How would this be accomplished? Through God's Son, Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, one of his prophesied names was Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Messiah would be God in the flesh, reigning on earth. Indeed, the kingdom of heaven was not only near, it was here. Oh, hi, it's TV's Dave Stotts, and I'm here to tell you to hit the thing and the thing and make sure you ring the, the thing for more of drive-through history because that's what we all need.